okay you're welcome back and now i'll be taking you through the measurements and i'll be showing you how the measurement runs on the form okay so the vital measurements are very important measurements that you need when it comes to pattern drafting right so we have the upper body that's the upper torso and the lower bodies which is the lower torso the upper bodies is is running from your waist upwards while the lower bodies is from your waist downwards okay so on the upper bodies we have the upper bodies front and we also have the upper bodies back right then on the lower torso which is from here down is have the lower torso front and also we have the lower torso back so because we will be constructing on half of the front and half of the back you know everything is going to be half of the front and half of the back so it's that half that we're not going to place on our fabric will okay, unfold to bring out a full body, right? So now I'll be showing you the measurements and how they run on the body frame. First we have our full length. The full length applies to both front and back. Your full length is coming, you know, it's starting from your shoulder here at the neck edge. It's running straight down to your waist. That is your full length front. Likewise at the back, we have the full length back. It's from the shoulder here to running all the way down to the waist okay then we have our center length front center length front just as name the center of the body is here here at your whole of your neck running straight down to the waist likewise at the back we have center length back that's from that back where you have that ball ball bone there at the back running straight down to the waist then we have the shoulder slope we have the shoulder slope front and back so the shoulder slope just as name implies your shoulder our shoulder actually is not straight it actually slopes downwards can you see so when the slope ends here you're gonna take it from that point you're taking it diagonally to where your waist ends okay so this is your shoulder slope running in this direction this way all the way to the waist okay that is your shoulder slope front then we have the shoulder slope back to be coming from the edge of your shoulder here diagonally to where your waist is okay so that is that about the shoulder slope then we have the across shoulder across shoulder front and we have the across shoulder back across shoulder is from here at the hollow of your neck you take your table across to the shoulder across shoulder front then we have the across shoulder back it's from this point you know horizontally to the edge of your shoulder okay then we have the bust arc mm -hmm. bust arc just as the name implies is an arc is just a segment of a circle and because you know your bust is on this level when we want to take measurement of our bust circumference it goes round you know and comes round so the bust arc is just a segment because i told you that we'll be working on half of our front so our bust arc is from here this center front here right can you see it's going to be running from half of your all over to the bust apex to the side where you have your sideline running. This is our sideline running. So your bust arc is that center point over the bust to the side here. Can you see? It's from here at that point, the center over the apex to the side. That's your bust arc. Then we have the back arc. The back arc is the opposite of the bust arc. So it's just from the center at the back also running horizontally to the sideline, okay? Where it's just the opposite of your bust arc. Then we have the across back and across chest. Now your across chest is just this, the, the point between your shoulder level and your bust arc. That's where you have your across chest, okay? The distance between your shoulder and your bust arc is where your across chest lies. So it's from that center here across to where your arm hole, you know, line runs through. Likewise, at the back, across back, is from the center here running across to where your arm hole line runs also, okay? Then we have the bust span, just as the name implies. The bust span is, you know, um, where your the, the, your nipple to your nipple this is your bust pan nipple to nipple okay that is the bust pan nipple to nipple so from this point to this point that is your the measurement there is your bust pan then we have the bust depth bust depth is what free hand tellers call the bust point so the bust depth is running from your shoulder here down to where your bust you know stand the bust level is at the apex okay that's your bust depth okay then we have the bust radius bust radius is just 
you know that um radius of the circle that is coming from your apex here hmm, to the center this is your bus radius here like this you can see the bus radius is from here to here that's from the apex apex to underneath your bus that is your bus radius okay now we have the side length side length is running from your waist up on the side to where your arm will you know level is that is where the bust and um, that is where the side length is then we have the new strap new strap is just the opposite direction of your shoulder slope you know i told you our shoulder slope runs from this edge here you know diagonally to the waist now we have our shoulder our new strap is from that point opposite direction where your shoulder shoulder slope is from here diagonal now your new strap is from the you know the neck on this side diagonally to the side can we see it's coming from the neck here diagonally like this to the side that's our new strap then we have the arm hole just as the name implies the arm hole is this where your arm goes into your sleeve the round space there that's your arm hole the arm hole is you know at the edge of that your shoulder is between your the edge of your shoulder and where your your sleeve begins round of that place that's your arm hole. then we have the bicep just because this tummy doesn't have this a, a an arm it is just your arm that round point of your arm okay that biggest part of your arm you call it your muscle so that fat the big part that's your bicep freehand tailors call it round um round um round round sleeve yes round sleeve so we have the sleeve length is from your shoulder tip here down to where your um wrist is that's your your sleeve length then you have the neck circumference the neck circumference is just running round on the neck that's your neck circumference measurement of your neck all round okay then we have the hip circumference hip circumference is just on your hip level all round okay we have the bust circumference that's your bust level all round we have the waist circumference that's your waist level all round okay then we have the shoulder length shoulder length is running from you know where your shoulder starts from at the neck down to the edge where your arm will begin that's your shoulder length okay now we have the under bust vertical and horizontal measure the under bust is from your neck on this place at the edge here running down to where your bust ends underneath it that's your under bust vertical measurement then we have the under bust circumference this is where your under bust ends you take it round that's the under bust circumference okay then we have that placement that placement is from your waist at the center here running through where the apex of your bust will be that is the distance between the center front here to where your that will begin from that is your dart placement okay so we have the round shoulder that's where you measure your arm around as in round the shoulder round that's your your shoulder round shoulder or shoulder round shoulder circumference okay then we have the back neck it's important well you understand what the back neck is made for when you're constructing a pattern your back neck is running from that center here okay running all through to the side at the shoulder level here just from the half of your neck at the back is what you call your back neck okay so we also have the hip arc we have the hip arc front that is the center here because we're working on the half but that's what we're taking from the center center here all the way at that bum level to the side that's your hip arc front then the hip arc back is you know from the center of your bum here going down to the side here that's your hip arc back okay so those are just the very vital the important measurements you will be taking down when you want to construct your pattern so i'm going to run through it again we have the full length front and back we have the center length front and back we have the shoulder slope front and back across shoulder front and back bust arc back arc across chest across back bust span bust depth bust radius side length new strap arm hole bicep sleeve length neck circumference we have the hip circumference waist circumference bust circumference and then we have the hip arc front and back 
and then we have the waist at front and back we also have the round shoulder circumference the shoulder length on the boss vertical and horizontal measurements you have your back neck you have your dart placement so those are just all the measurements you need when you want to construct you know your pattern I hope you understand that and I would like you to take your measurements on the human bodies so now I want to explain for that because on the human bodies you are not able to know where your waist ends in pattern drafting your waist is not on your navel okay the navel is that point where we call the abdomen so your waist is three inches above your navel so when you want to measure your clients I would advise you that when you're measuring you know the full length you just take it from here and up to the navel of the person and then you subtract three inches is that clear so that's how you get your full length front then when you want to get your center length front you measure from the person's um, hollow at the neck down to the navel and then subtract three inches because normally the waist is three inches above the navel but because of the way we are shaped you know our bodies there's so much in flesh you know so many people have grown fat and then you're unable to know where your waist exactly is okay so when you fold and you bend to the side your waist is just right at that point where your rib cage the last rib bone of your rib cage ends that is where it's between your rib cage and your hip bone here that's where your waist is okay so that is how pattern drafting has has been made you know so you understand it better that way so as the course of in the course of our lecture you begin to understand where we place this measurement and the importance of all these measurements that i mentioned to you thank you and i hope you understand i'll see you in the next class